Next, we will apply our inequity aversion model to the ultimatum game. We will consider an ultimatum game with an inequity averse responder. We assume that the proposer receives $10 and can offer a split to the responder. As a refresher, I've written down the utility function for the two player case. In the first line, we see the utility of player i in case player i is worse off than the other player. And in the second line, we see the utility of player i when player i is better off than player j. Before considering the utility from accepting a certain offer. Let us first think about the utility the responder derives from rejecting the proposer's offer. If the responder rejects the proposer's offer, the responder has a monetary payoff of zero and so has the proposer. So for the utility of the responder, this implies that the utility is zero. There's a zero monetary payoff and zero inequality between proposer and responder. All right, now let us turn to the first case. In the first case, the proposer was generous and offered a split that makes the responder better off than the proposer when accepted. So we take the first line and, and plug in our information. So the responder has a utility, has a monetary payoff of Y and the proposer a monetary payoff of 10 minus Y if the responder accepts. Let us look at the formula and we see that this term is positive since beta, beta y, beta i is smaller than one. Furthermore, we know that y is positive and 10 minus y is also positive. So independent of the split offered, as long as it is larger than $5, the responder is always better off when accepting than rejecting. Okay, so rejecting implies a utility of zero, accepting implies this utility and this utility is always greater than zero. So if the proposer makes an offer greater than $5, the proposer can be sure that this offer is accepted. Now let us look at the second case. In the second case, the responder is offered less than half of the pie. In this case, we take the first line of this formula and plug it in here and also insert the, the numbers. And what you can see here is the responder benefits from the money he gets but suffers from the money that the proposer gets. And so there's a trade-off. When accepting the offer, the monetary payoff is maximized, but so is the inequality, the disadvantageous inequality towards the proposer. So what we do is we want to look at when is this utility greater than zero and when we rearrange the numbers we come up with this critical value so whenever the share offered to the responder is, is greater than this term then the responder is better off from accepting than from rejecting and we can see that for alpha, alpha i greater zero and greater zero, this share 
is somewhere between zero and five. Okay? The larger alpha i is, the more the responder suffers from the disadvantageous inequality or the envy, and the larger is the amount of money the proposer has to offer for uh, making the responder accept the offer. Okay, so what you can see here is that the more the responder is concerned about disadvantageous inequality or envy, the higher is the offer the proposer has to make for being accepted. Which means an equity aversion can explain that low offers are rejected and assuming that responders are heterogeneous, it also explains that the probability of an offer being accepted is growing in the size of the proposal for all proposals that share less, that, that offer less than half of the pie. It also implies that all offers which are greater than half of the pie should be accepted. 